Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. I'm at you with another TTM episode. Um, got just a few things in this week. Um, there was one today, I just went ahead and opened it. Um, it was, uh, figured might as well just open one rather than open it up live and then hope for something more next week, next week on Saturday. Um, I did have a autograph that I forgot to show last week. It got buried on the bottom of all the other things, and it's kind of surprising that I forgot about it because it's kind of a pretty big one, uh, at least to me. Uh, she's a pretty good uh, actress. Uh, I got her in a screenshot here from uh, the Night of the Museum, one of my favorite movie series. Uh, sent to a Via Venue. Uh, it's no longer good anymore, but uh, Carla Gugino, or Gugino, I'm not sure how exactly pronounce her last name. I was trying to look up her last name, but I couldn't really find any exact pronunciations. So, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool one to get back. It took about 50 days or so. Uh, sent uh, a couple months ago, and uh, the address ended on uh, December 7th. But she was doing some up in Canada, and uh, I guess we'll kind of, these are kind of all out of order kind of work backwards I guess. I uh, got a little something from Andrew Williams aka AWMS on YouTube. Uh, he sent a few uh, former Bengals autographs that he got. Um, first one he said is Barney Buzzy. He was the safety for the Buccaneers and the Bengals. So I don't have anything of him. That's pretty cool. Got a uh, John Stofa. Former quarterback. I don't have him either. Um, got Mr. Dewey Warren. Also another former quarterback. I also do not have him. And finally got Sam Weich. Uh, I got a couple cards signed from a few years back on some pro set cards, I think, uh, when he was uh, as a coach, but not as a player. And he was a quarterback too. So, thank you, Andrew. Um, you will be having something coming pretty soon here. Um, I sent off a few Christmas packages, some little ones, to some people. They should get them probably Tuesday or Wednesday. And some might actually have gotten some today already. So, but yeah, there will be a few going out here. Just waiting on the stamps coming from Amazon. Got some of the. The international stamps are like a dollar fifteen, dollar twenty to help not put so many stamps on an envelope. Um, this is one of the T TTMs I've been waiting on to come in uh, for Garrett uh, before I send out to him or send out all his stuff. So uh, if you have been getting something for him and you want to send it, you can send it to me, and I'll be sending it out probably here in another week or two. Uh, hopefully get in time for Christmas for him. But this is one of the ones I was kind of waiting on. I was trying to get him some golfers. Uh, I got Bob Golby. He's a 68 Masters winner. Um, he just signed the one 5x7. He didn't sign this one. Let me get him receiving the jacket. Not sure why, but maybe he only signs one now or something. But that's one that I was waiting for. Uh, Got uh, Miss Terry Gar. She signed two photos. I was hoping she'd put it to Gary on one of them, but uh, she didn't. She signed them both to me, so I gave one of them to my dad. Uh, one was from uh, Young Frankenstein, I think it was. Screenshot. My dad was talking about that movie around that time that I sent to her, so I just put uh, when I got it, I put it in his room. He's like, "What's this?" <laughs> I just thought it was funny that I give it to him. So, but. Uh, he probably won't hold on to it because he doesn't know what to do with it. So, um, probably end up giving it to somebody else. Uh, I got an email success from Tommy A. Maker. I went ahead and took Kim's advice and sent out a few email requests, just like four or five. I uh, saw so, uh, DeLong Shot Signatures get him back and they gave me some ideas to people to send to. And uh, he's the Harvard basketball coach. 
And then also on the same day, got Mr. Jim Tressel from Youngstown State University. He sent a signed photo. And uh, he's usually pretty good uh, with email requests. So he's a cool guy. I also got some a little Christmas package from Brandon Paxton. Um, let me save that one for last. He sent some cards uh, for TTMs. So I uh, just finished sorting out all my baseball cards into teams, and it took months and months and months of um, sorting. So now they're uh, categorized better. I can find them for TTMs. So I'm hoping. Um, next year I can send up more cards to be more balanced with photos and cards because that's the whole reason this channel was named Caleb's Cards. Otherwise I'd have to change it to Caleb's 4x6 photos like Troy wrote about it. So, um, he sent a Desert Storm pack which I'm trying to build the whole set. Um, I, I think I'm still missing a few like some of the stickers and stuff but uh, I got a whole pile going here off camera that you can't see of a whole bunch of Desert Storm that I'm trying to do here and I need to get a binder and put them in uh, order but he sent a bunch of baseball and football so some guys I could try some guys for the Hall of Fame some guys for the Rockies you, know, you name it all kinds of good cards in there um, there's one that's cool here Let's see I don't have this one the famous Matt Holiday slide in the uh, tiebreaker game against the Padres that ultimately would the Rockies would end up going to the World Series that year so that's always a pretty special memory then the big one that he was able to get I sent to him um, last year and during preseason I've not heard anything back this is before you know he's super famous and doing incredibly well but he got uh, Pat Mahomes in a training camp in person and uh, he had a couple for him and he wanted to give me one so thank you so much Brandon that's that's really cool because I was really hoping I could get him back TTM because uh, it was before you know he was really known to anybody he's just you know a hopeful prospect to do well for the Chiefs. So, no, that that's really cool. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I opened that up and saw that in there. And then, hopefully, I got them all. <laughs> I got three here. I feel like I'm still missing some, but maybe I'm just overthinking it. I um, got this really nice one from Hale Irwin. I sent. I think this is to the PGA Tour. Put to Garrett with thanks uh, and hopes for your safe return, Hill Irwin. Got another golfer. That's another one I was waiting on, hoping to come back. And then this one I put with thanks and best wishes to myself. So very cool for Mr. Hal Irwin. And this is pretty cool. I think I'm missing some here. It's probably up above. Got a return from Ulysses Grant Dietz. He is the great great grandson of Ulysses S. Grant. And he signed the back with uh, his um, family tree. Ancestral genealogy there, a little quick line there. And then he also just. Uh, That was the paper I think after adding then he put a note saying sorry it took so long to reply um, but that's all right it's uh, pretty cool I always try to try to get some of the family members from former presidents and stuff because obviously you can't get these guys anymore but if you can get a family member it's almost getting the same thing so it's kind of an interesting side project I do when an address pops up and uh, Maybe I do everything. This this one's been out since September. Um, probably not real, but probably secretarial. But figured why not? For Garrett, this is one of the other ones I was also waiting on. So pretty much three of the TTMs I was waiting on to come back. I was hopeful for 
did forget it, so I felt more confident being able to send it out to him. Well, I got back from Miss Jennifer Lawrence, and again, uh, for some reason, every time I get back from her, they just the signature smudges. So um, this is the best looking signature on the front, but it has the other signature for the other one on the back. So I was thinking of giving this to the Garrett because the signature looks the best. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll just give them both. Then there's that one that looks worse, but I'm thinking of going with this one. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> because that's just the signature that looks the most complete, I guess. So, But uh, still, it was nice to hear back from her. Um, I'm hoping that they're real. But uh, you know, some people said otherwise, some people said, yeah, they are. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, it looks different than the first time I sent her back in like 2014, but you never know. So, And that was sent to uh, her foundation in Kentucky. Um, other than that, that's it. Uh, I'm going to try and re-upload the uh, Hall of Fame binder video. I apologize. Something happened with the audio. Um, the video itself was fine, but in the transition process from the editing program to YouTube, that video just completely got jumbled up, and I'm going to reshoot it, uh, that second part, and try it again. If it does it again, then it's got to be my editing software, and which would suck because I paid a lot of money for that, so <laughs> I don't want to have to ditch that stuff, but uh, yeah, I'll try and work on that while this video is going. Uh, that is it, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and uh, Merry Christmas, and keep an eye on your mailboxes. You might have something coming in for me. Uh, I wasn't able to do as much this year. This money was a little tight, but I was able to send a few packages out and get some ready for some of you guys. So, Thank you so much for your support. I'll uh, hopefully see you next week some more TTMs. Bye, guys.